On Wednesday, when some youth heard a solidarity rally at the governor's office, citizens of the state watched with horror as Governor Adam Sushamle poured insult on the person of the ASMR of Benin, His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Sawari Gnadium. The development has attracted widespread condemnation as some citizens expressed anger at the manner the current governor used insultive words on the ASMA, describing the action as unbecoming of someone of the governor's position. They noted with dissatisfaction that instead of addressing the issues that are negatively affecting the people of those states, as a result of what they described as his anti-people policy, the governor decided to divert people's attention by unnecessarily launching verbal attack on the person of the respected Esama of Benin. The respondents said the governor's utterances lent credence to the sentiment that his land use charge law is targeted at the SMR of Benin and advised the governor to tread with caution as it is alien to the African country for people to disrespect others in that manner. They pointed out that Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Sawa Ignadion has contributed immensely to the development of Edo State and Nigeria since 1968 and therefore did not deserve such vindictive verbal onslaughts from Governor Ushomole. I that the Comrade Governor is biting more than what he can chew. The Beninese, we are not happy to see the Comrade Governor who claim is the people's governor insulting our leaders. Uh, Benin people normally say that a hand that a little child used to hit the stone, that child would definitely put that hand on his head, crying for help. So I want to hold him, he should not hit a stone that he cannot resist. Let the comrade governor know that Esama was the one that brought him into power. I find that statement as callous, I find that statement as weak. I find that statement as vindictive. I find that statement as calculated to embarrass the person of this I'm not being. Because I'm not even surprised that the government made that statement. Because if you remember, sometime, uh, maybe a year or two ago, when Philly Shabu was the majority leader of the Edo State House of Assembly, he did mention to the whole world that how can one man have so, so much properties? So many properties all over, all over the place. So it shows jealousy of the highest order. And I'm disappointed. I was ashamed as a matter of fact. He took it as a personal, you know, as a personal game. Not minding the area where he's pursuing. You understand? That's where I saw it as if he's targeting him. That is because of him that he, prom he promulgated that, uh, that law. Now, the insult is, you know, it's on, you know, it's on call for. As a matter of fact, it's on call for. SMA is not of his age. Esama, the time Esama has been reigning, is still a youth, as I then. So it should man his ways towards a caliber of man like Esama. Since I was born, that we are seeing a government, a failing government, a sinking government, sponsoring riots to support his policies. If, if he had done this, maybe about seven years ago, one would have said, oh, well, it's fine. He thinks he has Buhari up there. Buhari also sees what we are seeing. We are going to submit documents. It's not ESCC. We are going to submit documents there. Bumole has no character. He has always been like that. At the time, he took on Bermuda. He took on Aneni. He took on Esama. Why are you surprised? That is his character. That's why people don't respect him too. I can boldly say he's not my governor and insult him because he doesn't respect himself. Until he starts respecting it, nobody wants to respect him. The outcome and speech of the Cumbri governor falls short of his personality. Uh, Esama is somebody that has contributed so much to the development of the society, especially here in Benin. He's an industrialist. The number of people in, the, in his payroll cannot be overemphasized. So for somebody, and uh, the hand of Esama contributed to what he is today in Edo State as a governor. So it will be too appalling, so to say, for a, a high-ranking governor to look down on this uh, thing. It's not something that is fair. Others who also condemned in strong terms the unguided statement by the Kremlin governor called on the governor to apologize to the SMR in the interest of peace. I want to clear and proclaim that the SMR of Benin is not being sought by the governor, but he sought the youth and the entire chief and the entire Benin kingdom. Kremlin governor, refute your statement. If you have anything to do with this Amar, please do eternally. Abuse Esama of Benin. We are not happy. We all are not happy. You should go back and apologize 
to our grandfather, to our father, to our ancestors. Everything you should go and beg our father, Esama of Bini. People like Esama should be should be people that we should respect because these are people that have provided employment for, for youths, that have uh, uh, provided employment for Nigerians. We have not heard that somebody like uh, Ibru has been run out of uh, Delta State because he's so rich. We have not heard that Dangote, who is the richest man in Africa, has been run out of Nigeria because he's so rich. Even while Jonathan was there, did he run him out of the country? We have not heard that even Buhari, as he's there now, has run uh, uh, Dangote out of Nigeria. Neither have we heard that somebody like Rocky Feller in America has been run out because uh, he's rich. So it's unfortunate. Why would, why, would, why would a law be promulgated to target one man? With the entrances by the comrade Adam Sushomale on Wednesday in government house while addressing a group said to be sponsored by the governor has since sparked off reactions from different quarters within and outside Edo State. Best Mbire reporting.